But hello, Rovers. Tomorrow is a huge day. Wave Rover is coming home. My name's Alan Mulholland. I'm a solo sailor, and this is the story of how I built my Wave Rover 650. Three years ago, I refitted a 40-year-old Contessa 26 and took her on an amazing 7,800 nautical mile ocean voyage. We crossed the Atlantic twice, but a knockdown on the second crossing and COVID-19 put an end to my solo circumnavigation. So now, I'm building a new boat, smaller, lighter, but more suited for a solo circumnavigation. The Wave Rover 650. So a week ago, this, this shop was just full of all of our household belongings, pretty much from the door all the way to this corner, which is probably about a little more than a quarter of the space. Well, well, well more than a quarter of the space. And this area now, which has been my cabinet shop for the last, oh, five weeks or so while I built the kitchen cupboards and bathroom cupboards, uh, now it's being shut down. This is the last day I have here before Wave Rover takes up residency here. So this is what home looks like. It's now about 7.30 in the morning. Sun isn't quite up on account of the shorter days. Uh, the date is 29 October 2022. And when I say Wave Rover is coming home, she's coming home to the old shop here, which has been cleaned out. Everything's been, well, put away, but there's going to be a ton of stuff coming in here today. Well, about a week earlier, I stopped by my good friend Bill England's boat shed to see if he could give me a hand. Well, I'm here with Bill England at his boat shed. He was away when Hurricane Fiona came through, but his boat shed took a bit of damage. So Bill, what are your thoughts when you when you came back from your holiday and you saw the destruction, you saw the boat, uh, what are your thoughts? Well, it was uh, obviously a bit overwhelming. I, my kids sent me pictures uh, after the hurricane, but uh, when you actually see it uh, firsthand, it, uh, it, you know, all the work to put into it. Sort of, sort of hits you, but you know, my intent with this boat is to to sail around the world. And when you're an ocean cruiser, you will face adversity at some point, uh, whether in port, along the coast, or in the middle of an ocean somewhere. So, if this was enough to uh, stop my my boat build project and my dream of world cruising, then uh, I probably wasn't in the right mindset mentally to to be a world cruiser. You know, obviously it's going to delay the project at, at least two months. Uh, it's going to take me a couple weeks to, to clean this mess up and then take stock of, of what I can reuse and what to go out and buy some new lumber. And then it'll take me at least six weeks to rebuild uh, the arches because most of the arches uh, collapsed and interestingly enough the lamination um, wasn't the failure it was the wood uh, itself so lots of work ahead but it's the joy of boat building right 
Well, I have to say that's probably one of the best, uh, the healthiest attitudes I've ever heard after coming back and seeing such destruction. Uh, the nice thing is, Bill, you're still at the beginning stage and you know it, if if it were like the boat was almost finished and was destroyed that would be a tough pill to swallow yeah. but but at this point you've put it a lot of work into it we're going to survey the damage right away um but yeah you've got a, a fair bit of work but great attitude great attitude toward rebuilding awesome. thanks very much well, what a lot of devastation. Bill has his hands full. He will have this project up and running in no time. Of that, I can be absolutely sure. So this is the day of the big move. And the reason for the move is, well, we're kind of in a tight spot here. There's not enough room in the barn to have this project and the other projects that are underway. So, as you can see, this is pretty much all the space I have to work in not big enough so we're just going to pick everything up and get it moved which is in the way do you want to move it <laughs> well so we've just backed the trailer up we've got just a tiny bit of space there the boat itself is just on just these dollies that you saw me build well maybe you didn't see me build them just recently each of those wheels is good for about 300 pounds so that's uh three six nine twelve twenty four hundred pound capacity awesome okay We're just stopping for a second just to make sure that the straps are nice and tight just before we get on the highway. But this is the first time I've been able to get a proper view of the boat. I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. And the wheels kick and the winds song and the white sails shaking and a grey mist on the sea's face and a grey dawn breaking. I must go down to the seas again, for the call of the running tide is a wild call and a clear call that may not be denied. And all I ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying, and the flung spray and the blown spume and the seagulls crying. I must go down to the seas again, to the vagrant gypsy life, to the gull's way and the whale's way where the wind's like a wetted knife. And all I ask is a merry yarn from a laughing fellow rover and quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the long trick's over. Whoa! Yeah, we're good. Pull that. 
Um, we bought we bought them out. Yeah. Get the dolly. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to honor the Wave Rover benefactors. So what is a benefactor? Well, these folks have made a contribution of $100 US or more to the project, and their names will be affixed to a bulkhead inside Wave Rover and will be traveling with me on our circumnavigation. Now these donations truly are much appreciated. Well, Rovers, it's great to have Wave Rover home, and that move went exceedingly well. Great big thank you to my friends, neighbors, fellow boat builders for pitching in and giving me a hand. I think I've said it before, I would sooner have friends than money. Always seems to work out. Now, next week, it's all about the mast. Now, of course, I also have an awful lot of putting stuff away to make the shop... Um, you know, efficient because I really have to pick up the pace in order to make my timings. So the mast is next week. I also want to know if you could let me know in the comments section just below this video, let me know if you would like a Thursday morning release of the next video or do you want Friday morning uh, videos or Friday evening videos. Let me know what release date works best for you and if you can, tell me why. All right, thank you very much for watching. Well, the Wave Rover patrons, with their pledges of support, really do make the creation of these videos possible. Now, if you'd like to know more about Wave Rover's patron page and Benefactor's Bulkhead, I have links to both those pages in the video description. Now another way to help Wave Rover, and it doesn't cost you a dime, is by sharing our content on your social media. So now, as always, Rovers, thanks for watching. Give us one more. <laughs>